Yes, sir, they did it. After years of European heartbreak, Michael, you get first words. Oh, look, I can't believe it. The seeds are absolutely incredible. This team oh, oh, look is at absolutely <laughs> everything. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's oh, I'm so happy. Everything about this moment, the pressure, the pain, but everyone's saying that Man City can't do it. Everyone was questioning Pep, but they turned up. Yes, it wasn't the best game we all seen. But these scenes, these moments, they can cherish for life. The fans were a bit nervous throughout the game, but look what it means. It's just exceptional, exceptional scenes. I'm getting quite emotional speaking about it. What it means, you see Kyle Walker there. He's got, he's got tears in his eyes. Everybody. Terry, wow, you've won a treble. Yeah, I've won a treble, by the way. Uh, no, no, joking aside, look, so happy. So happy for them, so happy for Pep. Doing two trebles with two different teams. I don't, want, I don't want to hear anybody talking about Pep Guardiola anymore. Go to sleep, you don't know what you're talking about. This is the best manager, coach, put it all together that I've seen by a distance. For a long time I've been saying it. Now I want to, I want to know what's going to be the next argument. And that's that is, you don't do a third treble yet? Come on, stop talking. This is the best coach I've ever seen. And he proved it now. So what's going to be the next subject? Well done, City. Well done, Pep. Bye. Jamie, your reaction? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I totally agree with everything that Thierry Henry has just said. I mean, we are watching one of the, the great teams of certainly of English football, now the best team in Europe. They have been for the last three or four years. They just haven't won the Champions League. They'll enjoy tonight, but if you've got Pep Guardiola as manager and a team of this quality, this team could dominate Europe for the next three or four years. Terry, this has been... I'm going to leave Mike out. No, Mike, second, let him, let him just, be. He's right now, he's let with him, Jack, he's him, having a hug. It's an emotional moment. How happy are you, as an Arsenal fan, all the same, how happy are you for this City team, given the way well, they play? I'll, I'll be honest, game? I wasn't too happy about the league. But <laughs> if a team beats you like that, the way they did it, yes, you, we can talk about the final. Yes, we can talk about... We can talk about how they beat United, how they beat Inter Milan. You win finals, you don't play them, you win them. They did. And the way they went to the final, the way they played football is second to none, as we all know. So like I said, I'm very happy for Pep. And I said it since the beginning, I wanted Pep to win it above all. Sorry, I'm not, I, we all know I'm not a City fan. I wanted Pep to win it. Mm. And I'm happy for City because they've, they've done it with a team that people always say, oh, they have those players, they have this, they have that. But when those players arrive at City, they were not like top of the list players. He met them top of the list players. Well done, Pep, once again. Jamie, how long did it take you to digest when you won a Champions League win? I'm, I'm a Champions League winner. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's, it's the, the biggest moment of your, your football career. Listen, there's a step you can go further on Thierry when you win a World Cup, but there's players in front of us here with tears in their eyes. Now, these are players who won numerous Premier League titles, domestic cups, but the Champions League is something special. And as you said, you can see from the emotion, the same will be in the stands with the supporters. Nights like this don't come around too often for many players. It may come again for City, it's a great team, but you can see from the emotion, when you watch some of those European Cup wins over the years, the great players, the great teams, the great managers, these are now in that bracket. They weren't before that. You need the Champions League to go alongside everything else that you achieved. Now we can talk about this team. Are they one of the top teams in Europe over the last 10, 20 years? And it's a treble. It's a treble. Along the way, you beat your rival also. They used to call them the noisy neighbours. They're not the noisy neighbours, they are the neighbours. Micah. I need a moment, Kate. This is <laughs> honestly, I, I just can't be. I mean, but we came here the, with you thinking it could happen. You were going to win the treble, but, but now having happened, but you never does it feel you, different. You never expect it. I mean, <laughs> you play <laughs> over in your mind so many times. I said before in in the show, I was nervous because we've been here before against Chelsea a couple of seasons ago, and you're thinking, okay, things are not going City's way. Kevin De Bruyne gets injured. Kyle Walker not starting. The flow of the game wasn't going the way we all expected. And Peter said it right in commentary. And when we threw to him, Man City have not been at their best, but they got over the line. And that's the most important. And I'm so happy for everyone involved in the club. It's just inspirational scenes. And it's just a pleasure to be here.
Speaking to Jack Grealish there, the emotion com coming from him. Normally he's laughing and joking. He's crying, he's in tears. That's how much it means. It's just a special, special day, Kate. We're about to go to a break, but real talk, do you want to change your flight and stay and join the party? I, 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 that's getting changed, don't worry about that. <laughs>